Tūranga Waiwai Marae. Um, this is our Koyona vaccination centre, so we do the COVID vaccinations here. Just in the last few days, working with the phones, before we started operating again, um, there was a significant jump in the calls that we were receiving of people wanting to come in and get vaccinated and tested as well. Um, just seeing um, if they could come into us like straight away, which is really good because there was a lot of anxiety around um, coming to get vaccinated and things like that. But since we've opened up today, um, we've had a full car park. It's gone right out to the to the out onto the road, and um, as hard as it is to manage, especially with behaviours and things like that, people have been really, really good and really, really understanding, and they just still want to come in and get vaccinated here. Kia ora, Nei Fakaro. He mea nui ki te haere mai ki te tiki te rongoa arai mata. Hei te aki i a koe anō me tō whānau o kaumātua. Um, nō reira he wero tēnei ki a koutou ngā rangatahi o tōku reanga ki te kaha haere mai ki te tuku arai, rongoa arai mata. A lot of people have come through, like we've had people come through from Hamilton and they prefer to come here just because it does, a lot of people don't like that clinical feeling. So they really like the homely feeling that we have here at the Marae um, and we've got the space for it and it just works really well for us. The reason why I wanted to come here is because um, I'm from Marae here and um, I'm part of the Tainui tribe and I feel a lot more comfortable coming here yeah, than I would say waiting at Corbin's and Hamilton and that. Yeah. The reason why it was so important was because um, like I've got kids and all that and um, you know I just wanted to like be a role model and um, you know, like there's a lot of people with conspiracy theories and all that stuff, saying all the stuff about the COVID vaccination, but at the end of the day, like, um, you know, I just want to do my bit and encourage others to get their COVID vaccination. You know, it could save a life. This is my second one today, my second dab. I booked a long time ago because I'm in group three, and my GP wasn't offering it because I live in Raglan. So this was the closest one I could come to. And I also work in my head office in Narawaya. Um, well, I think the, the vaccination is very important, but I also have a health condition myself, so um, it's even more important that I get it, so I become safe to be out in the community again. So I work in Narawaya, and um, yeah, during lunch break, I thought, oh, sweet, that's easy, it's close by, um, just do that. And yeah, we make, made a day out of it, you know, have lunch together and come here. Yeah, All right. <laughs> yeah, same here. It was really easy to go with Racer. So, uh, and I work in Horatio sometimes, so it was super easy and super easy to get a space. I think since we're both not originally from New Zealand and we have family back home in Europe, I think for us it was important to get vaccinated to, you know, make it possible to leave that country at some stage and be able to come back. So yeah, I think it's quite yeah, important. Yeah, that was the main one. And then just sort of immunity across the country helping towards that. Um, he pai, he tino rawe te kite i ngā tangata katoe, haere tonu mai ana, um, he rere ki, i te mea, kei roto mātou, i te lockdown, engari e haere tonu mai ana rātou, ka tae koe te hara mai ki kona ki te kōrero ki ngā nehi, i nga he, um, pātai tau, nga he amu amu tau, um, he pai te kōrero. I think if, um, if young people think, oh, I'm not going to get sick, I'm young, my immunization is good, think about the older people in our community, you know, think about your grandparents and their friends. You want to have everybody safe, so I feel like it's an obligation for young people to get vaccinated too, just to keep everyone safe. Yeah, and uh, it's really easy to get vaccinated, everyone's super friendly, the whole process is good. So. Yeah, it doesn't even hurt as much as I thought it would. <laughs> no, it was great. Yeah. I, I just reckon that just get out there and do it whānau, do it for the be uh, better one of your whānau. You know, don't listen to people, you know, on TV talking a lot of rubbish. You know, at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's your life and it's your whānau's life that matters. I would say if you don't think it's important for you, you should do it for people that do have health conditions, people in the community that it would be really important for. Think about everyone, not just yourself.